Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Android application development tutorial. So from this tutorial series onwards, we are going to learn about what are the mechanisms are available to save information in Android. There is a lot of mechanisms are available to save information or data in Android. You can use the shared preferences API. You can use the you can save data into SD card, you can save data into files, you can save data into the SQLite database, or you can save data into a remote server. So here in this application, here in this episode, I am going to create a simple application that will demonstrate how to save information using the shared preferences API. So if the data is relatively small, you can use the shared preferences API and the shared preferences API save the data in the form of key value pair. Okay. So this is our application. So this is the GUI of our application. The application contain an edit text. Here is a seek bar. Here there are some radio buttons are available. So user can enter a message here and you, user can change the font size using this seek bar and the user can change the font color using these radio buttons. And if the user click the save settings button, we have to save information like the font size, the font color and content of this edit text, also the position of this seek bar etc using the shared preferences API. And if user click the clear settings, we have to clear all the data, all the information available on the shared preferences file. Okay. So first thing, the first thing we have to, uh, we have to adjust the font size of this edit text you by using this seek bar. So go to the main activity Java file. So before going to code. We have to see the XML. So here is the edit text. The ID of the edit text is message. And here is the seek bar. The ID of the seek bar is seek bar. And here is a radio group is available. And I place all these radio buttons inside this radio group. So there are there is some on click method for this radio button. The method name is change color and this is red color, this is uh, blue color and this is green color. All this on click method name is change color and here is a button with the save settings. The on click method name is save settings and here is the final button with title clear settings and the method name is clear settings. Okay, so go back to main activity. The first thing we have to create an object of edit text. I name it as message. Now we have to create an object of seek bar. I name it as seek bar. Okay. Now we have to initialize these two objects. So go to the onCreate method. First we have to initialize message using find view by id method or dot id dot message now type catch this one into edit text okay now we have to initialize the seek bar object so seek bar equal to find view by id r dot id dot seek bar type cast this one into seek bar okay So if user enter some the text and if it drag the seek bar, we have to change the font size. So go back to main activity. So we have to create some override method for the seek bar. So seek bar dot there is a method called set on seek bar change listener. Use this interface. 
and we have to get some callback method from this interface okay now we have three callback method for this interface called on progress change on start tracking touch and the final one is on stop touching on stop tracking touch okay so if the progress if the progress of this progress bar change this method will invoke and if the user just begin begin dragging the seek bar this method will invoke and if the user finishes dragging the seek bar this method will invoke okay so if the user change the progress of this seek bar we have to adjust the font size so here I am going to change the font size of this edit text so message dot set text size the first argument is use this one type the value dot use this first information complex unit px and second one is here I am going to use the progress of the seek bar so if the user drag the seek bar it will change the font color of the edit text based on the progress of the seek bar okay and the second one so whenever user select any of these radio buttons we have to change the font color based on these radio buttons okay so these radio buttons have an on click method called change color so we have to create that method here so here I am going to create that method public void change color don't forget to add the view object here okay now we have to check actually which radio button is selected by the user for that here I use a switch case statement so we have to get the ID of each radio button so use the get ID method so here is the first case if the ID is equal to ID red color if the user select the red color radio button we have to change the font color into red so message message dot set text color color dot pass call the method called pass color and specify the HTML color code for the color so here I have some HTML color code for red color this is the HTML color code put a hat symbol and paste the color code here okay and don't forget to add the break statement now we have to create another two cases because there is three radio buttons so next color is uh, if it is blue color we have to change the color into blue so here is the HTML color code for blue color put a hash symbol and paste the color and here is the final case statement the final one is green color okay now we have to change the color into green here is the HTML color code corresponding to green color okay so now whenever user enter a message and if he adjusts the seek bar it will change the font size of this edit text and if the user select any of these radio buttons this will change the font color okay so now we can check the application so now I am going to run this application 
Okay, now the application is available on my real device. So here I am going to enter a message into this edit text. Hello, Prabish. Okay. Now I am going to change the font color using the seek bar. So I just drag the seek bar. You can see the font size is changed according to the seek bar position. Okay. Also I can change the font color using the radio buttons. Okay. Now I click the home button on my device. Now go to the recent applications. So now still the application is available on the primary memory of the device. So you can see it here. Nothing is gone. All the data are there because the application is currently running on the primary memory of this device. So now I am going to clear this application from the device memory. So here I am going to clear the application from the primary memory of the device. I remove that application. Now again come back to the application and open it up. Now you can see everything is gone because here we didn't save anything into this device. So now I am going to save information like the content of the edit text, the font size, the, the font color and the position of the seek bar etc using the shared preferences API. So please go to the next video to learn more about how to using the shared preferences API to save information similar to this.